Now, every June 14 is a day set aside by the World Health Organization to commemorate World Blood Donor Day. The need for safe blood is universal. Safe blood is critical both for treatments and urgent interventions. It can help patients suffering from life-threatening conditions live longer and with a higher quality of life and supports complex medical and surgical procedure. Earlier on, Plus TV Africa spoke with consultant primary care physician of Flax Medical, Dr. Abiodun Abraham, on this matter. Well, the message uh, is very clear. Safe blood saves lives. Donate blood, one pint of blood uh, will be uh, equivalent to helping at least three people. Um, it, that is really the message. Uh, all over the world, there is a shortage of blood donors, um, especially like you probably know in the sub-Saharan Africa, where uh, most uh, blood donation is uh, done by relatives and well-wishers, and some is even bought. However, uh, the blood donation banks, uh, the state blood donation banks all over the country have been setting up blood drives to, to help to mitigate this problem and by actually encouraging people to all over the country to come and donate blood. So right. save blood, save lives. Right, Dr. Ibrahim. Uh, tell us more on the kind of people who usually need uh, this kind of gesture. Well, um, a lot of people with chronic disease actually need blood on a regular basis. Uh, people with chronic problems, kidney problems, um, sometimes uh, other uh, types of problems, they need it on a regular basis. Children, cancer patients, children, people on dialysis, um, people who are um, just coming in, accident victims, antenatal patients, and oh, so many different types of patients in the hospitals actually need blood. There are some people with chronic blood conditions who need blood on a regular basis. It is a really dire need all over the world. Right. On a day like this, Dr. Abraham, you would agree that it is important to reiterate you know, the need uh, why uh, we should donate blood. Now, the question is, who can donate blood and what does access to safe blood mean and the importance of this as well? Well, anybody from the age of 18, uh, and I must uh, emphasize this, whether you're a man or a woman, a, 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 a man or a woman can donate blood. Um, it has been proven that even, you know, there are lots of myths that can women donate blood, women can donate blood. The only exception to women donating blood is if they are pregnant or they are breastfeeding within the first three months. After that, you can. And uh, we do have, you know, experiences of people donating blood and um, they actually donate blood every um uh, three months. Now, when it comes to donating blood safely, we do not advise you to go to, um, you know, blood banks that are not reputable, you know, all these private blood banks. We, we do have a Lagos a state. We have state blood banks where you can go under very, very safe and um, hygienic and aseptic conditions. You sit down there. They are, these are highly regularized institutions where you go and you give the blood in a very safe manner. Mm. And when you do that, you are helping people directly to, um, to, to, to receive the blood. You're, you're helping them to, you're actually saving lives. Mm -hmm. And um, the blood is not sold, the blood is given. And I think that's the whole point of it. If you have to sell blood, you're doing something illegal. The blood is actually given and donated to the patients. Right. And the safeness of it is that you don't, um, you don't suffer any ill harm from it. Mm -hmm. You do not you know, collapse or get dizzy or anything like that, like the people say. It is safe. Mm -hmm. It's good that you're clarifying that uh, part of the conversation. Let's move, uh, move the discussion a bit further. The institute you belong to was engaged in some kind of volunteering this COVID-19 period. Any connection? And why take that risk when everybody is doing everything possible to stay away from one another? Well, the Institute of National Transformation is a very, very uh, unique uh, organization in that it is set up solely uh, as a, to transform lives, to transform person, to people, so the society and the nation uh, of Nigeria and the continent of Africa. 
And you see, when a person starts to become transformed, when you become a transformation agent, the first thing you think about is you take responsibility. You, wherever you see a problem, you do not uh, talk about the problem, you become the solution to the problem. So we saw that there was a big problem during the COVID crisis. Um, you know, we, there were lots of other problems and we were connected with other problems, the food drives and all that. But we saw there was a peculiar problem when it came to blood shortage. Why was this? Because you know there was a bit of a lockdown and at that time, even the few regular donors could not access the uh, blood um, transfusion mm. uh, offices. So we uh, took it upon ourselves at the Institute of National Transformation uh, to connect ourselves with the Lagos State Blood Transfusion Service, and we uh, were able to uh, have a blood drive, which resulted in several people, you know, scores and scores of people donating blood. Right. It was a really, really um, incredible time, mm. uh, and uh, the blood was so well needed at that time because there was a big shortage.